New Year's everybody. Back to trapping here. Got a nice bridge. We're gonna try trapping. If that we got water that's free flowing. We got a little bit of a warm up actually today. It's supposed to get up in the 40s for the next couple of days. And I made some coon bait here. I call it Fatal Feast. And uh, it has it has a little bit of uh, licorice in it. Uh, some candy sprinkles that my son and uh, wife didn't finish up making cookies with. Uh, seafood meow mix, cat food, dry cat food. There's the black licorice in there. I put about half an out, half a tea, about a teaspoon of, uh, or sorry, a tablespoon of liquid smoke, a tablespoon of Worcester sauce. And then I mix that all together in there and it, it has a smell to it. So definitely can smell it from a ways away. The other thing I want to add to this is fish oil, which I don't have yet. I just put an order in for that, but we'll see how it works. I'm going to take you guys down to the set. We got dog proofs here. I just got for Christmas. So I'm very excited. And, uh, my brother, Jeremy gave me some of these T-bar steaks until I get some more of these, uh, Earth anchors. I might actually try an earth anchor today just for the fun of it and to show you guys how it works Because I do have one that my dad gave me We'll get these set right now. I just have a screwdriver. I'm using but I'm gonna get the The dog proof setter that Duke makes and of course these are Duke traps um, And then also I want to show you guys some other things I'm doing today um, I got some dirt. It's more you know, honestly, it's more like sand, but the thing of it is, is I don't want it to freeze up in my set. So if it gets wet, if there is any dirt in it, it'll freeze up. But this, of course, this looks like a lot like sand. So hopefully this works. My dad always did it under the bridge and seemed to catch animals. The one thing I know that you don't want to do is you don't want to get scent on your trap. I've been watching a lot of videos. You don't want to get scent on your trap because that'll make the animals dig it up. Of course, you got a sifter here. Been really wanting that pretty bad. Got the Shields is a great place to buy stuff. And Minnesota Trapping Products is who supplies all their stuff. And then my brother-in-law, Matt, got me these Bridger number two dogless traps. I'm letting them, I need to kind of take them to the car wash and set them out in the rain, get some rust on them. And he also got me a number three, so I just ordered another number two, so I should have four coyote traps. Um, but yeah, we're all set. We're all set to trap canines, coons, critters, uh, and beavers. So really excited. Got a lot of 220s out now, but we're going to get these traps down. I'm going to show you the process of that here in a bit. Really excited, and we need to keep trappers going, keep this tradition alive. So we're down here in the creek bottom. Getting ready to set. Got the creek. Got corn up here. And we got a nice trail heading in here so you can see there's lots of tracks and maybe even some fresh ones there's a couple deer in here but mostly coon tracks okay so some big some small we'll take them either way so i got my coon bait here we're going to cover this up that chain and then take our bait and we're gonna pour some in there. That should do. All right, that should be more than plenty. Give them a little something to sample on and then, then of course, eat. We'll tip them that way so if there is any rain that gets down in here, it won't freeze up my trap, but since I'm under a bridge, that's kind of the beauty of it. We'll come down here, do the same thing. And we'll take the stick just to kind of cover up that chain and maybe make the coon want to go into it a little bit better. <coughs> Here's a little more bait for us. Kind of sprinkle that around. That's probably more than, more than enough. Don't want to waste too much. So that's about how much I used for this first two. Probably did a little more than what I should have. But I want to catch a coon. It's late season. And ouch. I have to reset that one. Oops. All right. Well, anyway... Got two set in here, we'll see what happens. A bridge location here, real nice spot. Could be a good spring spot for beaver, but got this run where there's definitely coons and stuff coming through here. Coming over here from this water's edge. There might even be some up here, but 
I feel like if coon's gonna come through, he's gonna come through right here, looking for minnows and stuff, and then go up through there, up into that cornfield. So we'll try this. It'll also be a spot where I can see him kind of from the highway, you know, if I do end up snagging a coon. So like I said, I'll, I'll probably put another one over here, just double up on him and then just see, see if we can't catch a coon. And like I say, I'm sure we'll find some better spots, but I have some coil springs for that and so forth. But we'll try this bridge. It's a nice one on the way to work. So hopefully we'll get something. We'll set it up here real quick. Throw a little cat food in her. There you go. There you guys go. Down here another bridge. These are taking a little longer than expected because I never trapped them before, but it'll be a good moment for scouting. But dog proof, I just sat. I really shoved it down in their ways and of course got my bait down in there. Pretty good, but you can kind of see it down in there. So they should be able to get it, but as you can see, there's a big trail coming through there and there's corn there. We got timber over here, timber over here. There's beans over here, beans over here. On this side, I got corn and corn. So um, the coons are definitely coming through here, going up down through there. And there are uh, maybe some, some mink tracks coming on down through here too, which I w when I get some more earth anchors and stuff, we may set a couple uh, coil springs down here, but the stakes I have right now, they just don't, they don't, they wouldn't stick in the ground good enough. And there could be beavers in here. Um, you know, there isn't a lot of beaver chews and muskrats. There could be a few muskrats on this channel. So um, definitely want to keep trying that. There's a good trail down there, but I'm out of earth anchors. So we'll see what happens. Good, good trails. All right. We got Landon down here. Go show him the tracks, Landon. Show him the coon tracks. Okay. There's your traps. Now go show them the coons. Look. Look over here by daddy. What are those? See? Those look like coon tracks to me, don't they? Raccoon is gone. No, they're in there. Um, so we may set one in there. <laughs> Should we set one of your traps there? Here, let's go over here. Let's try another spot. Here, walk over here with Daddy. Okay, we're gonna turn off the camera so I can hold your hand. I ain't land here, I've been trying to get set if I keep catching my finger. I almost catching my finger in the trap. But... Yeah. Man, I want you to throw a little bait right in there. Not much, just take, here. Take a little handful. Here, put your hand out. Both of them. Here. No. Okay. Now, put some put some right in that hole. Without going in the trap. Nope, get your hand away from the trap. This is a lesson in trapping. Okay, so what we're going to do, what we kind of want to do here, basically get this raccoon to take it. We're also teaching my son how to stay away from traps. He just learned by watching daddy what it's like. So now what we need to do. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty, pretty bad, wasn't it? We're going to try to get some grass here that's not, uh, so, uh, well, we'll fix that here in a bit. Well, Started checking. Landon's finally taking a nap. He actually started about 45 minutes. Starting to check this line. It looks like we got ourselves a nice late season coon. This looks like a big boar. Got really good guard hair on him. He'll sell pretty good. Looks mostly like a silverback. I don't see any damage. Pretty sweet. Land just woke up from his nap. Say hi to everybody, Land. Hello, buddy. So we're trapping today. We got. A, what do we got? Show them your trap. You got shields. Lift it up. 
<laughs> All right, so we're gonna set a trap today, me and Lannon. It's Happy New Year's, Daddy. and we got ourselves uh, a nice um, little trail here running our culvert here. I'm gonna show you that. Lannon, are you excited to catch a big coon or skunk or something? Um, a skunk. It might even be a possum, I'm not sure. But Aww. I think if we set something right into that bank there, we could probably get a big coon. Culvert here, and then they've been coming out through here. Me and Landon here in another set location. And I think we got one, Landon. Get up there. Show us what we got. So is that a good one? Yeah. Here, let's get up behind them. All right, let's get them out the trap and keep trapping. Okay, we got a big coon here, folks. Yep, you come, just go this way, like this. Yep, go over by the coon. See him? See, I told you he's big. He looks pretty fat, isn't he? It's right here. All right, we got a Connie here. A big coon there. Let's pull him out, Landon. So big. Yeah, he's fat. Whoa, he's pretty. Look at him. Get behind him. He's a nice big coon. Nice big late season coon here. All right, it's getting about to be dark. Mom's gonna be mad if we don't get going. Okay. God, he's a nice coon. He'll. He'll fetch some good money. What do we get here, Lannon? What's this one called? Here, get in there and show us what it is. Is it a possum? Should we throw him away? Looks like we just got him last night. You want to take him home? All right, Knuckles. Hey, me and Lannon just set this set yesterday. Got a great big coon, unfortunately. He's been breeding. He's got a big rub on him. Big male boar. Tore up our set too pretty bad, but anyway. Poor little guy. Got in another set here. Me and Landon set this one last night. Looks like a pretty big female here in a coon cuff on Fatal Feast. So the bait is working. I'm already catching a lot of coon. Looks like a pretty small coon, but this will be a nice spot to reset for us. And he's been sitting here a while. We'll get him in the morning. Get get these checked in the morning from now on. But nice coon. Glad to have him. We'll get on down the road. Still got four more sets. So, all right, we got another coon sitting here. And the other DP is not affected, but one of the coons he got in here, pretty wet. We'll have to do a little better job of taking care of these things. We'll take them though. Five for five on Fatal Feast tonight. 